It's uh, good to be here with the Mayor, the Chief Superintendent of uh, Police in our Regent, Mark Kelly, and of course Kate Venables from Catholic Care. And I want to reiterate at the start uh, a comment that Kate made, and that is uh, the great work that our community is doing together to look after one another. And I urge everyone to keep up those efforts. Well, the news in the last 24 hours is that following four days of, uh, of no infections, we've had one infection, uh, and uh, there's a belief that most the, the, the majority of infections in this area have uh, been caused externally. So this person is in home isolation, and as a result of that, hopefully uh, it will go no further. Uh, once again, I'm very thankful to all levels of government, and can I particularly welcome Dr John McVeigh, the federal member for Groom, uh, here today, uh, and thank him, and would he please convey to the Prime Minister our thanks for the work that's being done, not only by the Prime Minister, but by our Premier, and by very many leaders right across this area. There are a couple of things that uh, I've been asked to communicate. Uh, first of all, uh, the base hospital is, uh, don't, anyone who needs to go to the emergency at the base hospital, uh, that's okay, regardless of what your complaint is. Uh, they're working through that, but don't not go to the base hospital if you need hospital attention. And the other thing yesterday we brought up was the fact that uh, coming into Easter, there's always a need for blood. So those who can give blood, please make sure you do give blood. Well, as you're probably aware, Catholic Care has lots of different family services. We do lots of counselling and mediation. And in this new world, we are now doing it online. That has obviously been tricky and somewhat challenging, but we've had some fantastic client flexibility, which has been amazing, as well as staff work. It has enabled us to create whole new models of service. So now we have some express mediation. Likewise, in terms of counselling, we're doing 15 minute really quick debrief sessions because we know people's stress levels are enormous and they may not have the normal hour that they would uh, normally have for counselling. So we've got some great stuff there. This is about the safety of the community. Now, whilst we have seen the numbers of cases fall locally and in Queensland, we must remember that people have lost their lives. We've lost two in our local community. So it is very important that we comply with the directives. Um, we have issued warnings to people. Um, so we haven't fined anyone locally. We've issued a number of warnings and people have complied with those warnings. There were two infringement notices issued in the Stanthorpe area. And finally, my message uh, on uh, Easter Thursday now, I'd remind all of us heading into the Easter weekend, is please stay at home.